Hello everyone, this is Pickup Lee from Watch you Technology. Today I will introduce to you how we help customer migration from Org to MariaDB with their application change. I will introduce a special migration progress from following, following aspect. First, I, I will introduce a background of migration and introduce why customer want to migrate to MariaDB. Then I will introduce a special migration process, how we migration step by step, what work we have done for this migration, what tools has been developed, etc. Finally, I will review the entire process to make it easy for everyone to understand the entire migration process. Firstly, let me introduce the background of this use case. A customer who has the IT system are purchased from ISV, which means independent software vendor or deploy, de developed by outsourced personnel. The old application uses traditional architecture and run on micro computer like IBM Power and uh, Oracle database, but most of their new systems allow run on open source database based on uh, x86. We all know that developing a system may only take one or two years, but maintaining a system may last more than 10 years. The resilience of outsourced personnel and even the closure of SV made it difficult to maintain the old system. In order to unify the IT architecture, our customer tried to solve solve this problem from two aspects. First, they require SV to develop a new application system based on x86, Linux, and open source database. Secondly, they try to migrate the old system to the new IT architecture. Migration from IBM Power and EMC storage is relatively simple compared to database migration. Part of the old business system was migration through application reconstruction. However, there are still a number of application error because small ISV vendor has closed down or because the technology selection of large ISV vendor cannot be controlled, which has delayed the delayed the migration of database to open source database. The problem now changes. The old application can be migrated, but as we cannot modify the code to mig migrate the database from org to the open source database. So customer began to explore whether there is a way, way for as we to migrate to open source database without modifying any code which of the open source database, MySQL, MariaDB, or PostgreSQL is the most suitable for hosting such a business. Firstly, the customer kick out PostgreSQL from the list. <coughs> Although PostgreSQL has a lot of syntax similar to Oracle, but its ecosystem is not good enough. There are a low PG DBA on the market and no professional vendor support can be found if there are any database issues. Secondly, the customer exclude MySQL. MySQL is compatible with ORC syntax. If ISV cannot modify the application code, there may be cost years to change MySQL from remigration. So based on MariaDB, it's the best choice. MariaDB can share the MySQL ecosystem, which has lots of third-party tools, lots of technical document. Many engineers are familiar with it, and there are many commercial support. In the model of circle mode and Oracle, MariaDB can be compatible with Oracle syntax, including data types such as virtual 2, number, etc. You can create a sequence to get continuous increasing values, and it even compatible with the storm procedure language of PL circle. In addition, MariaDB has already done migration from Oracle 
to MariaDB in Bank of Canada. Canada. Therefore, the customer finally chose MariaDB as an open source database from Oracle. As a part of MariaDB in China, which technology has helped the customer complete the first migration from Oracle to MariaDB in September. And we will help customers for migration to more applications from Oracle this year. Let's summary the whole background. The customer has some legends application using Oracle. The business logic is not complicated, and the workload is quite stable now. But they still need to pay expensive Oracle license fee for these applications. Secondly, application with free structure and the modified circle of it is impossible for customer. So they need to database to be able to run Oracle query directly. So let me introduce in detail how we help customer to migrate from Oracle step by step and ensuring the other application change. The first problem we faced when we actually took over this project, how does the application connect to MariaDB database without modifying the code? In, we investigate the customer's application. It's right in Java and use JDBC to connect to Oracle. So it is doable. We only need to change the connection stream from Oracle stream to MariaDB stream. After we start the application, it will call MariaDB driver to connect to the MariaDB database. If the application is ODBC, the corresponding modification is similar. But the application is written in C or C++ and use OCI to connect to Oracle. There is no way to connect to MariaDB without changing application code. The second question, can circle model as ORC be 100% compatible with ORC? After a simple test, it can be found that MariaDB is current not 100% compatible with ORC, such as low number to check function, etc. The question now changes to which ORC feature are used in, in application A? and which Oracle feature we need to modify MariaDB to be compatible with Oracle. That is to say, we need to know <coughs> all the execute circle of application. Correspondingly, we can enable circle trees and collect circle array info to get the ML queries on Oracle database and obtain the table structure store Storm the procedure, etc., to obtain the meta info. If the circle of the application is placed in Abatis or use a similar framework, you can get all circle direct from the Abatis file. If the application connects to the Oracle through a proxy, you can capture circle statement and the proxy layer. Watch that Lolly we are able to support Oracle OCI protocol in the Reno proxy product at the end of this year. After collection all the uh, metadata and the circle on Oracle, we need to analyze which circle is compatible with MariaDB's circle model at Oracle. We can use circle name, an open source migration tool analysis. There are similar Oracle compatible analysis on various cloud such as Alibaba's Adam and Huawei's Hugo. At present, Watch Technology has also developed its own set of tools and analysis the compatible of MariaDB with Oracle. MariaDB has some lots of Oracle compatible work, like Wacha 2 and the number data type, the sequence feature, and many syntax compatibility. Like from DAO, 
org style create procedure and functions, except for what MariaDB has already done. For this case, we still have some compatible work to do. For DDL, <coughs> org has a, the enable keyword, which is default behavior. In MariaDB, it cannot be changed. So we can ignore this keyword in create table and index. For DML, <coughs> the state function already implement in MariaDB, but the Oracle does not need bracket. We can modify the syntax tree to move it. The above three tasks are very easy. We can modify the syntax tree to move it. Org to char function can convert date number into character string. The function is complicated and not supported by MariaDB now, but there are similar functions that can be helped to implement it. The most difficult work is row number. MariaDB cannot support it at all, and we can not find a similar function. Sometimes it looks like limit, but have a more complex usage. According to analysis and evaluate, we knew which part of the code we must modify. Let's try to modify MariaDB. For task one, two, and three, we just need to modify the circle yak in YY file. It's quite easy. Just add a keyword. Add a keyword so that the syntax tree can recognize it. After the change of code, you can see MariaDB can run the org circle now. Let's take a look at task four. Here is a two char function syntax. It can convert number and data time to string. Take the conversion of data time into string as an example. Data format FMT. Parameters support a variety of format characters. We have some of the support parameter list here. To be full compatible with Oracle to check function, it's, it's very complicated. For example, Oracle FMT support J, which is from Julian Day. It's a number of days since July the 1st, 4720 BC. It is not supported in MariaDB, so we only support the limited to chat function here for our customer. To change MariaDB from supporting to chat function, we can reuse the data format function to solve it. Circle name provided a table mapping, the formatting special from Oracle to chat function to data format function. To implement it, Firstly, we need to add two chat functions and make circle native function in circle item create the CC file and call item function to chat to convert the data time to string. And we must implement class item function to chat, which is inherent from item string function to convert data time. The value string function is a key function. It use make data time arc, which is similar to make data time function in circle at uh, circle item time function the CC, which used by data format in MariaDB. Then we we can see the result of query as showing feature. MariaDB can support Oracle's two chat function now. The most difficult is task number five, row number feature. How can we implement the row number feature? Our idea is adding row number as a virtual column based on MariaDB's virtual column. Then add a count named current row number where the default value is one. When a row is read, set the row number field value to current row number. 
when a row is sent to the client, the current row number plus one. So if the query hasn't got a when clause, the current row number is the read sequence number. If the query has a when clause without row number, the row number field will return the sequence number after order by or aggregate. If the query has a when clause with row number, if the condition is row number bigger than one, it will not return any data the same as in ORC. Once a result set from the subquery can contain the row number field, we will not add row number virtual column again, which is the same as ORC2. <coughs> After we have done uh, this change, we have solved all low and incompatibility. The above ORC compatible code and test case has also been submitted to the MariaDB open source community. Monty, the father of MariaDB and MySQL has special give guidance, and part of the code has been merged into MariaDB. Among them, the previous version of row number is a limited version, only for this application of our customer. Monty has wrote has read a version for it and plan to release it in version 10.6. The next stage is the verification stage. We first run all the collected DML internally and um, modify, modify the MariaDB and compare the output result with the result of ORC uh, operation. If the results are inconsistent, it means that there are a problem with the MariaDB we modified it. And we need to find the reason and modify the code to ensure that it's complete consist with the result of ORC. After the internal verification is completed, our customer will deploy the application on the test environment, import real business state and verify the result of application run on MariaDB. The online migration progress is not simple. For business with small amount of data, you can explore the ORC data logic in a flat file after the shutdown, then import it to MariaDB. If there are lots of table and rows, the shutdown time of application will be very long. You need to ensure that the MariaDB state always keep up with ORC's latest data through the logic for backup and the continuous increase in incremental backup. Then when we shut down the application, MariaDB can be quickly catch up with the ORC. Watch technology currently provide Q metrics, a product for full and incremental backup from ORC to MySQL. After migration is complete, metrics can also reasonably synchronize MySQL data back to ORC. In case MariaDB has any um, um, worsened issue, you can migrate back to ORC. Okay, let's summarize the whole progress of migration. We sort out the migration step as follows. The first stage, collect the application information include how the application connect to the database. If a customer use OCI to connect to ORC, unfortunately, as we must rewrite code to use MariaDB driver. And also collect customer metadata information and the DML circle, include customer data runner and circle latency. The second stage, analyze and evaluate the application compatibility Evaluate the workload of modified MariaDB and evaluate which ORC syntax function and database function need to be adapted. The third stage, modify MariaDB to ensure that all its query routes to the application are consistent with the result on ORC. This stage is generally the most time-consuming and the most challenging work for database developers. The fourth stage, Verifying and migration of uh, the business. 
the main focus is on the results returned by the database layer on previous stage. This stage requires verification and test on application layer. And, and the DBA should provide a professional migration plan to ensure smooth application migrate to MariaDB. And we are very glad to see the AWS, the index leader of cloud, has recent launched a circle server compatible version of Babel Fish based on Postgres gray circle, which indicated that <coughs> This is not only our company that is based on an open source database to be compatible with the commercial database. We also hope that there are more and more companies join it and communicate with each other to promote the development of an open source community. At the end of this topic, I want to say we are very lucky to be able to stand on the shoulder of giant of MariaDB which help us to migration our customer applications switch from a commercial database to an open source database with little application code modification. We have created RenoDB, a branch of MariaDB special for Oracle Syntax compatibility. We will continue to keep it open source. Thanks very much to FOSDM for organizing such a great conference. If you have any other questions, please send me an email at pickup.watchtech.com. Thank you very much.